All right, guys. Well, uh, if you didn't watch this morning's game, it was a doozy. Let me tell you. Let's go take a look and see what the damage has been done. Uh, so the Giants win this one 19-3. They get 17 hits against the Dodgers' aid. And um, just a look here at the box score will tell you how bad it really was. Um, uh, Maury Martin um, gave up uh, 16 hits, 17 runs, and six and one-third innings. 16 of those runs were earned, giving him an ERA of 10.59. He did walk nine, which didn't help. Struck out three, which was okay. 161 pitches is a long time to be out there when you just don't have it. Um, in fact, uh, Koslo, throwing all nine innings, used only 113. He did only strike out two, um, but he also only gave up eight runs, three uh, or eight hits, three runs, making this a blowout for the Giants, 19 to three. And um, this does kind of hurt the chances the Dodgers have of getting back into the National League pennant race. As you can see here, it's uh, the Dodgers are what seven and a half games now behind the Giants. Pirates are five full games behind New York. Um, the next game for these teams, the uh, Giants will be uh, hosting the Cubs, while the uh, Dodgers will be hosting the Cardinals. So Saint, uh, Brooklyn has um, its work cut out for it, playing against the Cardinals, who played fairly well lately, 6-4 and four in their last 10. Dodgers are 3-7. and seven. Uh, The Cardinals have a much better uh, margin of uh, runs, and so I would expect that the Cardinals with their superior pitching staff will probably have the upper edge on the Dodgers. But we'll see what happens. Now, the big question that we have, though, is not about that, but it's rather about this incredible game that we just saw, which is, I mean, what was going on? How come this pitcher stayed in there forever? Well, it turns out that there is some precedent for this, and um, we're going to go ahead and take a quick look over here. So we're going to switch over here to our screen view, and I just realized that um, I have forgotten to uh, fix this before the video. So what we'll do is we'll have a little bit of fun here. We'll go ahead and um, I'm using OBS at the moment to put myself uh, back in this. And there I am up here. And we're going to uh, make sure that you can see only the uh, most important part. There you go. And we'll make this a little bit big. There we are. Something like that. And um, here we've got this uh, moved over. Of course, this isn't going to work. So what I will do is I will turn the camera mode on over here. and We'll give this another try. See if it works or not. If it doesn't, then um, we will go for the next uh, plan, and we'll do that right now. This is a professional YouTube channel, let me tell you. So uh, we're going to wait for this to go ahead and close down. Sometimes the virtual machine lets me uh, put uh, something on top of the screen. Sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of random. And now this will work. Then we go back over here. This looks much better. We're looking at Maury Martin. I'm reading about him. Martin... 1949 was a rookie, 26 years old. 7.04 was his ERA. Um, played in 10 games, uh, four starts. Again, no complete games like I mentioned in the uh, broadcast. If you watched it, if you didn't, I understand why it was long. Um, Martin, interestingly enough, so he started a game, went uh, seven innings, uh, lost to the Braves. Um, his other starts were another loss to the Braves, this time 4 nothing, and uh, lost to the Cardinals. So um, didn't do so well in those starts. Um, this game, they actually beat the Giants. He only went four innings in this one, interestingly enough, giving up uh, three runs, five hits in those four innings. And so um, it's around this time that he kind of leaves the Brooklyn rotation. He shows back up again a little bit, and then this is the game that's interesting on July 3rd. This July 3rd game against the Giants, um, uh, he gives up a lot. <laughs> so Martin came in. He only pitched one and two-thirds innings, but gave up nine runs on eight hits, nine runs earned, uh, two strikeouts, and two walks. So he did get two strikeouts, which is pretty good. Let's see if we can pinpoint when he comes into this game. And here he is coming into it in the bottom of the seventh. He gets the first man out and a ground out, then a single, a double, and a walk, bases loaded, and there's a uh, sacrifice flies. There's two away, right? And then the score is only 8 nothing. Then there's a single, a single, a walk, and then a big grand slam. Um, stayed in for the bottom of the eighth inning um, and uh, gave up. Uh, so he got one guy out and a strikeout, and then a double, double, and a double, and then they finally took him out of his misery. Um, which sort of explained what happened there. So that's kind of what's happened um, to Maury Martin in real life. Um, Martin in uh, 1949 um, kind of had a little bit of uh, tough luck because of that. It sort of mentions here in his biography that he really did get a drubbing in that game. The Dodgers were trailing 7 nothing, and when he left, um, there was 16 nothing. So uh, it was kind of a hard um, inning in two-thirds, I would say, for uh, poor Maury. But, of course, um, the fact that he had that game doesn't explain the reason why the computer manager in this one decided to let him give up 17 runs in six and a third innings. 
which is my biggest question, because as you just saw, I mean, he didn't last, you know, six innings in uh, very many of his starts. So the big question here is, like, what is going on? How come Diamond Mine Baseball is doing this? So we'll do a little bit of a very quick investigation to see if we can sort of figure out what's going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, this uh, particular start is a little bit unusual. This is another um, example that we have of uh, the Diamond Mine Baseball computer manager acting kind of strangely because, I mean, I think any natural, any normal human manager after giving up maybe five or six runs is going to be like, okay, we got to get this guy out. Let's just forget about this, put somebody else in, and we'll worry about the next one. So we'll go over here and check out the uh, roster manager profile. I just realized I'm not showing you this. There we go. Back in Diamond Mine Baseball country we are. And uh, let's take a quick look over here at Martin, who's listed as a middle reliever. Um, and, uh, well, that's not going to tell us much about his uh, profile. We're going to take a look at the player tendencies, and we want to take a look at Martin and just see if anything's going on. Yeah, look at this. Um, pitching using relievers is set to very, very low. Most, I'm sorry, most frequently set to very high, and using closers is also set to most high, which means it should be taking him out more often. It also means that uh, here for removing for pinch hitter, the computer should have taken him out. Now, the Dodgers did have probably five different pitchers who were uh, healthy enough to uh, come into the game or who were rested enough to come into the game. We look at managerial tendencies when it comes to using relievers and closers. It's all neutral, right? So the manager here should be willing to take the guy out. Why this happened, in other words, why in the world it's the case that uh, the uh, Dodgers decided not to take him out, or the computer manager, that is, is totally beyond me. It doesn't make any sense to me at all, and um, I'm really confused about that. If you have any sort of thoughts on this, let me know. Um, I think that this may be a bug in Diamond Mine Baseball. This is a very strange behavior by the computer manager. I could see it letting a guy stay in for a while because the bullpen is depleted. But letting a guy stay in to give up uh, 17 runs when you have like about five pitchers who are perfectly healthy on the bench, um, or who are rusted, that is, um, is really, really weird. I'm not sure that I understand what's going on. Um, and um, it's just another example of Diamond Mine Baseball doing Diamond Mine Baseball things. All right, I will talk with you again uh, tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.